What's up, Hasfit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a total body hit workout with weights. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And the weight that you use is completely dependent upon your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's get this thing started. All right, let's get today's routine started with the warm up. All right. First move is going to be a opposite side toe touch. Feet are shoulder width apart, arms overhead. And with that opposite side arm, I'm going to reach over and touch that opposite side toe. And I'm going to reach over and touch opposite side knee. So depending on your flexibility level, you can choose which one is right for you. I want you to have a slight bend in those knees and then use your hips as a hinge, driving your hips back behind you getting a nice stretch in your hamstrings, glutes, and lower back. So we're just pretending as though we're gonna touch that, rear, touch that wall behind us with our rear end. That's it, and we'll make sure we're stretching out that posterior chain. So try your best not to turn this into a squat. And this is just a warm up, so go ahead and make sure you're moving at a warm up pace, whatever your warm up pace looks like. It's gonna be plenty of time here coming up. Plenty of to time to get crazy. It. That's it. Plenty of time to get crazy. I like that. Making sure to breathe throughout. And let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Next on the list, we're going to do an arm pullover plus knee raise. Feet are shoulder width apart. Both arms swing up overhead. And at the same time, we're bringing up alternating knees. So performing a knee raise. Ideally, we're getting that thigh up until it's about parallel to the ground, doing the best you can to accomplish that. That's right. So if you're only about right here, that's all right. Make this workout work for you. And you might find that as you go through this warm up, you get a little bit better at bringing that knee slightly higher. That's it. As you go through these warm up moves, they're also mobility moves. So that mobility is going to improve as we go through it. Let's have those palms facing inwards, facing one another. Get a full range of motion stretch with those shoulders as we bring those shoulders up overhead. This is also loosening up your shoulders, your lats, and your upper back as well. A little chest too. Very efficient move. Again, making sure to breathe and don't turn this one into a high intensity exercise. Again, it's just a dynamic warm up move. Let's continue this one for just last five seconds here. Four. Three, two, one, zero. All right, we're gonna get your heart rate up with the next one. I'm gonna do a traditional jumping jack, starting with my feet together and then jumping out, bring my arms overhead. And I'm gonna do a butt kick jack. So of course I'm mimicking the move with my arms, but except I'm swaying from side to side and just kicking my butt. That's it. Again, decide which one is right for you. And throughout today's routine, you'll have the opportunity to pick which workout, which variation or modification it fits your fitness needs. Again, making sure to breathe, not holding your breath. Last one in the warm up here. No matter which one of these you choose, make sure that you're staying nice and light yep. with your ground contacts, returning energy back into the ground, not just banging. If you got neighbors underneath you, I don't want them to hear you. All right, finishing up the warm up here in five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, hope you're warm. I'm you're warm. Ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, we're gonna need our dumbbells for the first one. 
We're going to do a dumbbell clean variation. I'm mm -hmm. going to do a dumbbell clean plus reverse lunge. And I'm going to do a dumbbell clean to a front squat. So we're going to start with those dumbbells at our side. We're going to swing them back, swing them up. And as we're bringing them up, I'm going to drop into a reverse lunge. And I'm going to drop into the front squat. I'm going to alternate which leg I'm using. You decide again which variation is right for you. The reverse lunge is a little more challenging as it forces you to use one leg at a time. Either way, both variations, we're aiming to drop those knees until they get to about a 90 degree angle. Ooh. It's a great total body move, swinging those dumbbells back, forward, and then absorbing that energy with our legs. This one's working your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, your back, your traps, all getting hit, biceps, forearms, easier to name the muscle groups that aren't being worked on this one. Remembering to keep your core nice and engaged throughout the entire movement. That's it. Back stays nice and straight. Keeping good posture. Don't want to break and round that back. Excellent. Let's go. Let's just hit this one for the last 10 seconds. Here we go. Let's go. Getting as many repetitions in as you can. It's a lot of time period. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Keeping the pace up. We're moving to the floor for the next one. We're going to sit down in a V-sit position. We're going to lean back on a 45 degree angle. I'm going to bring my feet up. And I'm going to leave my feet down. And we're going to do a V-sit fly, keeping a slight bend in those elbows, keeping your upper body on a 45 degree angle. Abs stay tight. Just holding and maintaining your body in this position is going to be a challenge. Ooh. And then we, with those elbows bent, it's like we're trying to wrap our arms around a tree and hug a tree. So we're not changing that elbow bend L angle, but maintaining that throughout. Squeezing your chest up at the top, keeping those abs tight, just to stay on this nice 45 degree angle. If at any time you need to rest your feet down on the ground or even lower your weight, feel free to do so. Definitely, you notice I have a couple of pair of dumbbells so I can switch up as I need. And we encourage you to do the same if you need to do so. Come on, keep those abs nice and engaged. We're feeling them. Oh yeah. Another compound move, working your chest, shoulders, abs, all at the same time, last 10 seconds. Again, we're not counting any reps today, just getting as many reps in as we can in this allotted time period. Four, three, two, one, zero. All right, again, Ooh. keeping that pace up. Back on our feet. This next one's going to work your back. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're bent over on a 45 degree angle. Palms are facing inward. We're going to pull back on our elbows, perform a bent over row, back down. Now, bent over fly, similar to that last fly we just did. Alternate between the two. So pull back straight on those elbows. And then with your elbows bent, we're pulling apart on that reverse fly like you're trying to Squeeze. Somebody has their finger in the middle of your back and you're just trying to squeeze it. One right into the next. These two moves are working. Both work in your back, but they're working different parts of your back. And this is the point of the workout where you realize you may need to drop your weight a little bit. It's okay if you have to grab a couple of water bottles for these types of movements. Yep, and you, and you make it work for you. We're all different. Fitness is not a one size fits all solution. In it together, working together, one rep right into the next has fit tribe. Woo. You got it, keeping that pace up. Whatever you do, don't slow down. Don't give up. Just keep moving, keep fighting, keep grinding through it. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go last 10 seconds on this one. How many can you get? Pulling back on those elbows. Squeeze in the middle of that back for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. <sighs> All right, we only need one dumbbell for the next one, so I'm gonna increase my weight just a little bit. As am I. But if you only have one set of weights, don't worry about it. We're gonna hold that dumbbell in a goblet position up top, feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna do a goblet squat plus twist. Weight goes back in my hips, going down to my thighs or parallel to the ground, and as I come up, I'm gonna twist to one side. Back to the middle, down, twist to the opposite side. One repetition right into the next. This is a great alternative to a regular squat because it's really going to 
get your core involved at the same time. So not just working your legs like a traditional squat, but really f focusing on getting those abs involved as well. Weight goes back in your hips on every squat. Make sure you're keeping your feet flat on that squat. You don't want to be coming forward onto your toes. Making sure to breathe that weight back in your hips and off your heels as you sit down. Stand up, explode up, twist. Ooh. And make sure you're not just twisting with your, your arms, but actually rotating with your hips and your core. Feeling those legs starting to burn. And remember, has to try when it starts to get hard for up to you to remember what brought you here today to begin with. Whatever it is that motivates you, staying focused on it. Come on, use it for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. Okay, we just need one dumbbell again for the next one. I'm going to go back down to a slightly lower weight, going to the floor in a high plank or push-up position. I'm going to come up off my knees onto my feet. And I'm going to actually be on my knees in the high plank position. With your core and back straight, we're going to do a high plank tricep kickback. Pull back that one dumbbell to your upper arm is parallel to the ground, to your body. Now only bend at the elbow and contract that tricep up at the top. Keep your abs tight, core straight. Try not to have your body rotated one way. That's right. Or have your shoulders nice and square. Making sure to breathe. Don't hold your breath. This one's going to work your core just to maintain this position. And of course, also working your tricep, squeezing up at the top, that tricep kickback. That opposite side arm, shoulder, and chest is working. Again, another very efficient move. Come on, keep that breathing going. Don't hold your breath. It will hurt you if you do. We're going to switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. I'm staying up, Ooh, switching too. sides, right back into it. Starting to get the hang of it. You can pick up the pace. Again, getting as many repetitions in as you can in this allotted time period. Come on, right here. Fighting through that burn. It's you versus you. Not competing with us, not competing with anybody else, just trying to be a little bit better than you were yesterday. Come on, you got it, you got it. How many can you get here? Last 10 seconds. Keep grinding through it. Can't stop, won't stop for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh, goodness. Keeping the pace up. Okay. We're on our feet. <laughs> we're going to do a little combo move here. One hand on your hip, feet are shoulder width apart. We're going to do a curtsy lunge plus high pullback. I'm going to step behind, drop both knees, reach to that opposite side foot. And as I step up, pulling back on that elbow and do a high pullback. And I'm only going to do about a quarter of a curtsy lunge here. So if you can't quite get down to the depth that Coach Kozak is, that's okay. Follow me. You decide which variation feels good for you today. Maybe you start with one and you need to move on to the other. And that's okay. And maybe you start with Coach Kozak's variation, but you decide to drop your weight. That's fine. Whatever you need to do. Make it work for you. Dropping down, those knees getting to about a 90 degree angle. We're standing up, pulling back on that elbow into a high pullback. Boom, pop it every time. You gotta keep breathing, keep moving. Let's go guys. Switching sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, right into it though. No downtime. We're going hard and fast today. Getting as many repetitions in as you can. This one's working your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your glutes, your upper back, your shoulders, even a little bit of forearm and grip. All working together to make this move happen. You got it, fighting through that burn. You gotta learn to be stronger than that burn. Right here, you're in control. That's right. It's all mental, not even physical. Come on, let's go. How many can you get? How many can you get? Pushing yourself here for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Excellent. All right, we're gonna need both dumbbells for the next one. 
I'm gonna do a reverse curl plus a front kick. And I'm gonna do a reverse curl plus a knee raise. Feet are shoulder width apart, elbows are in, palms are down. At the same time, I'm gonna keep those elbows in as I perform a reverse curl plus an alternating front kick. And I'm gonna do just the knee raise and bring your knee as high as you can. You decide which variation is right for you. Maybe you're not bringing your legs quite as high as we are. Maybe you're bringing them higher. Either way, I'll try to keep those dumbbells under control on the way up and the way down. Yes, we're aiming for some speed. That doesn't mean that you don't wanna stay under control. So don't just let the dumbbells flop down every time. And you also don't want your elbows to flare out. That's it, keep them in. It'll keep those biceps nice and isolated. Working your biceps and your forearms and that curl, keeping our heart rate up with these kicks and knees. If at and any point you feel like you have to have your elbows flare out, then you may have too heavy of a weight. And that's it, time to switch it up. Making it work for you right here. Woo! How many can you get? Let's go, last 10 seconds. Forearms are burning. Biceps are burning. <sighs> that's how we know it's working, Hasfit Tribe. Four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. Oh, burn. All right, moving right into another upper body one. All right. We're gonna do a shoulder press plus a chest squeeze. Feet are shoulder width apart, weight back in your hips. Pressing straight up overhead. Complete that shoulder press. Back down, the elbows to a 90. Bring the elbows together, squeeze your chest. Back to the starting position, that's one. Press overhead, squeeze back together. This one's working your chest, your shoulders, as well as your triceps. Even a little bit of core just to stabilize and keep you in this position. Again, we're not keeping count, so complete as many reps as you can in this allotted time frame. And if you wanna use light weight and go faster, feel free to do so. If you wanna mix it up and go heavier and get less reps, it's another way to attack this workout. Making it work for you. Just make sure to breathe, because it will take your breath away. That's it, focus on that breathing, focus on proper form, and focus on what brought you here today. What's your why? What's your reason for being here? What's your purpose? You're trying to lose weight, get more fit, just be better than you were yesterday. Whatever it is, stay focused on it. Grinding it out for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Ah. Ooh. All right, next one we're gonna do is a kickstand posterior swing. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna put one foot back into a kickstand stance. So most of our weight's on that fore front leg. Swing the dumbbells back and then forward, but we're using our hips. Hips go back, hips go forward. Even though the arms are the one that you really see moving, exercise is really about that. Lower body, driving those hips back, standing up straight, and squeezing those glutes up at the top. All of the energy and force in those hips is what's driving those dumbbells up. I got a slight bend in both knees, hips go back, Hips go forward, squeeze those glutes up at the top. Equal time on both sides. So we are gonna switch it up here in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side, Ooh. and then right in. Keep anyway. going. That's it. No downtime. Keeping that heart rate up. Keep working, keep focused. Here it is. Come on, heads for tribe. What do you got right here? Proving it to yourself rep by rep. Remember those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. Which one are you? Come on, ask yourself, who do you wanna be? What do you wanna be? Let's make it happen. You make you. Let's go, one into the next. Squeeze those glutes, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. Let's go, come on, keep it up for five, four, three, two, one, zero, nice. Ooh. All right, just one dumbbell needed for the next one. And we're gonna go down to the floor and do a high plank position. And I'm doing a high plank for my knees again. You decide which one's right for you. So with that one hand on the dumbbell, one hand on the floor, I'm gonna pull back on my elbow, perform a high plank row. Now I'm gonna twist to the side, T rotation. Press straight up, back into my side, back down to the floor. That's one repetition. And then for mine, from the knees, you notice I have my left knee down on the ground. 
while extending my right leg into the press. It's a great full body move, very functional move, working everything from your back, your chest, shoulders, abs, as well as your lower back and legs, all working together. Keep your back nice and tight, core stays straight. You don't wanna have a big arched back and you don't want your butt way up in the air either. Nice and controlled, getting as many in as you can. Right here, come on. We're gonna switch sides halfway through. 10 more seconds on this side. Keep cranking them out. What do you got right here for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Opposite side now, right into it, and begin. This one definitely takes some concentration as well as coordination. Piece together all these individual parts of the move. Stay focused, making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, not holding that breath. When you get up here in this high plank position, it becomes very tempting to hold your breath, but don't do it. You will regret it. One right into the next. Come on, guys. What brought you here? What is it? What are you working on? When it gets tough, you need to be tougher. Staying focused on it. Let's go. Last 10 seconds of this one. Come on. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. How many can you get for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. <sighs> All right, we only need one dumbbell for the next one. I'm gonna go a little bit heavier. We're gonna move into that goblet squat plus twist. Grabbing that dumbbell up at the top, feet are shoulder width apart, weight back in the hips, squat, and then twist side to side as we go through the move. Making sure to breathe and use that core, use those abs on that twist. On the bottom of that squat, both feet should be flat. Don't allow yourself to come forward onto those toes. And if you're having a hard time, probably means you don't quite have the flexibility you need to in your posterior chain, your hamstrings, and your glutes. So it's something to work on. Keeping good posture throughout. Don't bend over with your back either. How many can you get? Right here, Hasfei Tribe. Cranking them out. Don't listen to those legs. Woo. They're telling you they don't have anything left. They're lying to you. It's all mental. You're running the show, not those legs. That's right. Come on. Mind over matter. That's it, mind over legs. Mind over burn. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here. How many can you get? Last 10 seconds. Come on, push, push, push. Let's go five, four, three, two, one. Zero. Oh, goodness. To the floor we go. Only one dumbbell needed going into that high plank position. High plank tricep kickbacks. I'm going to be up on my feet. And I'm going to be down on my knees. Pull back from the elbow to the upper arm is parallel to the ground. Now just extend from the elbow. Working those triceps. Working your core. Chest and shoulder on that stabilizing arm. And again, whatever you do, don't hold your breath. Nope. You will regret it. Come on, you got it right here. One repetition into the next. What brought you here today? Focus on it, what are you trying to get to? Come on, your dreams won't become a reality through wishing, but through work. And that's what you're doing right here. Putting in the work, rep after rep. Switching sides in five, four, three, two, one. Right in the next side. Come on, let's go, no downtime, no rest. Think about how good you're gonna feel when this workout is all done and you can cross it off your list. Come on, come on, come on. Keep moving, keep fighting. You're not alone, we're nope. right there with you. <laughs> no, we're hurting too. Come on. Thousands, maybe millions of us at home has to try doing the same workout, same move, feeling that same burn for three, two, one, zero. Oh, goodness. Ah, shake them loose. Only one dumbbell again for that next one. Moving into that curtsy lunge plus high pullback. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna step behind, drop both knees down, reach, and then pull back and up on that elbow. Again, if you can't go quite as low as Coach Kozak, you can turn it into a quarter 
curtsy lunge and come right back up to starting position with the high pull. You decide which variation is right for you based on your strength, stability, and flexibility requirements. Come on, let's go. Whatever you do, Ooh. don't slow down. Don't stop moving. If you gotta drop the weight, feel free to do so. Totally, do body weight if you need to. That's it, body weight will work really well. Or a water bottle. Or maybe it's too easy and you need to pick up the weight. Whatever it is, keep fighting with us right here. How many can you get? We're gonna switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh, right goodness. into it, come on. Let's go. Let's go, what do you got? Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Pushing yourself, because nobody else can or will do it for you. Ah, this is all about you, right here. And it's not about being perfect. You'll see us make some mistakes along the way. It's just about putting in the work and not giving up. Almost there, guys, let's go. For five, four, three, two, one, and zero, nice. All right, go ahead and grab that second dumbbell for the next one. Moving into that reverse curl, plus either front kick or knee raise. Palms are facing down, elbows are in. Nice full range of motion curl all the way up. With nice control up and down. Making sure to breathe. Keep those wrists nice and straight and locked in. We don't wanna have what I call spaghetti wrists. Nope. Keep those hands and wrists in line with your forearms. I'll also help you work that grip as well as working those biceps. Come on, good posture. Shoulders are back and we're cranking them out. Ooh, let's You go. got it. Keep it moving. Go to your happy place on this one. <laughs> That's it. Fighting through that burn. You are stronger than that burn. Right here, last 10 seconds on this one. Come on, it's flying by, flying by. You got it, you got it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, back to back, another upper body one. Pop those dumbbells up. We're gonna go chest press, I'm sorry, shoulder press, plus chest squeeze. You can tell those workouts getting to me. Yep. Straight up overhead, and then bring those hands together in front as you squeeze your chest. So it's gonna finish off those shoulders. It's on purpose. Fighting through that burn. If you need Ooh. to lower the weight, feel free to do so, but don't give up. You notice I didn't increase my weight this time around. No, neither did I. <laughs> Come on, we got it right here. Keep moving. Come on, one rep right into the next. You got it, don't give up. Don't slow down. Remember, it's not about how bad you want it. It's about how hard you're willing to work for it. And that's what you're doing right here. Rep after rep. Let's go, last 10 seconds. Let's go, let's go. Make a count, has for tried. Make a count for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right into those kickstand skier swings. I'm gonna increase my weight on this one. Feet are shoulder width apart. One leg is back. Slight bend in both knees. Hips go back, hips forward as you swing those dumbbells straight up. I want you to squeeze both glutes up at the top. Make sure to keep that back straight. Head is in line with your spine. And this one's all about those hips. And your arms are just along for the ride. Squeeze those glutes. Trying to touch the wall with those glutes. Pushing them back every rep. That's it, Claudia. Squeezing them up at the top. Don't hold your breath. Nice, consistent breathing. Come on, let's go. Pushing it right to the end, tribe. Don't stop, don't stop, come on. You need to drop the weight. That's all right, but don't give up. Let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side now. And right into Let's it. Let's go. Come on, we're almost there. Near in the end. Focus on what brought you here. What is it? Ooh. What are we working on? Every rep getting you just that much closer. Picture that goal of yours at the top of the staircase. Every repetition is just one step closer towards it. Every workout's just one step closer. Come on, let's go, come on. Squeeze those glutes at the top. And five, four, three, two, 
one, zero. Last one right Ooh. here, Hasper Tribe. Keep that energy up. Only one dumbbell needed for the next one. We're headed to the floor. We got that combo move, high plank row, plus press. I'm gonna be up on my feet. I'm gonna be down on my knees. Core is nice and tight. Pull back from that elbow, rotate, press overhead, and return. This is it, how many can you get? One into the next. You get a pile of sweat under you like I do. Careful not to slip on it. Come on, focus on the each individual step. Pull back That's from right. that elbow, rotate, and then press. Notice I'm concentrating on the move. Making sure I did everything right here. You don't want that butt way up in the air and you don't want your hips sinking. Nice straight body, nice straight core. Breathe, one into the next. Getting closer with every rep. We're gonna switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Last side, let's go. Let's do it. Finishing strong. What brought you here today has fit tribe. Getting so much closer to the end. Focus on it. Thinking about how good you're gonna feel when you get to that finish line. Almost there, almost there. You got it, keep that oxygen flowing. Let's go, keep breathing through the movement. Do not hold your breath. Doesn't matter how slow you're moving, still lapping everybody on the couch who isn't even trying. That's right. Come on. Joke's on them. That's it. We're making improvements <laughs> together. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Almost there. Come on. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. What do you got? Finishing strong, everybody. In it to win it. In it together. You got this, Tribe. Let's go. Three, two, one, and zero. Oh, oh. That was tough. Nice work. Nice work, Claudia. High five. Uh, nice work to you we'll out leave there. We'll it there. <laughs> oh man, felt burn so Ooh. good. We're gonna move into a cool down next. Slowly come up onto your feet. Take a couple of big deep breaths. And the purpose of this cool down is Too to, fast. to allow our <laughs> heart rates to come down slowly, as well as gaining some extra mobility. Yes. First one we're gonna do is gonna be a toe touch. Feet shoulder width apart, slowly reach down as far as you can. Weight back in the hips, and then come up slowly with the arms extended overhead, and then pull down from those elbows, stretching our back, and do a scarecrow. Repeat slowly, reaching as far down as we can. Coming back up with the arms, extended overhead, and then pulling back on those elbows. I'm just gonna stretch those shoulders, as well as your back and scapulas. Coming up. Got a lot of work in today. Yeah, we did, total body. It's important that we hit this recovery. Moving slow and controlled. The workout's done. This part's just all about recovery. Focusing on that heart rate. Bringing it down nice and slowly. Pull down on those elbows. And shake those arms loose. Oh, feels good. <laughs> Next one we're gonna do is for our chest. Again, got a lot of work in today. We're gonna need to head on over to either a wall or a door frame with a straight arm wall chest press. So get that arm nice and straight. We're gonna get our bodies close to the wall and then turn away from the wall, keeping that arm as parallel to the ground the best that we can. And just turning away, static stretch, opening up that bicep, chest, and shoulder. Nice big deep breaths. And you may not be able to get as close to the wall or door frame as you as, as we are, but again, like Coach Kozak always says, take it to about 80-90% of what you're capable of doing. We definitely don't want you to experience any pain. Yep, we just want a good stretch, but shouldn't really hurt per se. All right, let's switch sides in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Shake it loose. Let's go opposite side next. Same move again, trying to get that arm about parallel to the ground. Uh, this side's a little bit tighter for me. Definitely, me too. And it's totally common, as we always say, to have one side be a little tighter than the other. That's right, don't panic. Nothing to be alarmed about. And again, feeling it all throughout, really the forearm, bicep, tendon, shoulder, and chest as you turn away and feel that stretch. 
Nice, big, deep breaths here. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Excellent. All right, last one on the agenda. We're going to do a standing quad stretch. This one you can either do on your own or if you want to walk on over to a wall or a couch, something to hold on to. So we're just going to pull back that foot, trying to bring that heel to your glutes, keeping your knee in tight to your side. You don't want it to flare out. No, no flare. As you see, Claudia has her opposite side arm up. Helps a little bit for balance if you are doing it on your own without holding on to also something. Also helps if you focus on something right ahead of you. Exactly. Again, pulling that foot back to your glute, aiming for 80, 90% of what you're capable of. And again, not about being perfect. <laughs> this is gonna test your balance, especially after that tough workout. Yes. Let's just hold this one for five, four, three, two, one zero opposite side now again you decide if you want to hold on to something or ooh, if you want to test your balance like we're attempting to again just that much more of a challenge after that tough routine and here's a quick moment to just be proud of what you've achieved so far right. today pat yourself on the back That's you did it, it. you got to do it you got to take these these little moments in between to be proud of yourself on the way. Don't just be proud of yourself when you reach your goal, but instead you gotta enjoy the milestones along the way. And this was a tough workout and you should be proud that you made it to this point. I consider every workout a milestone. That's it, you got to <laughs> keep your sanity, to keep moving. That's one of the secrets to staying on your path to success. It's enjoying those small little victories along the way. For three, two, one and zero. That's it. You made it. Nice job. Nice work to you out there, HasFit Tribe. Thank you for sticking with us right to the very end. Please support our mission of keeping these great workouts free by downloading our free app. It's available for both iPhone and Android. You can also pick up a shirt, head our shop. We'll promise we'll send you a clean one. Brand new. No sweat. <laughs> or by picking up my book, Stay Fit for Life. Give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss another brand new workout from HasFit. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.